He's locking the door. She texts him. Let me see your hand. Hey, Scott here, Bounty Hunter Boot Camp. Get lots of emails and I get lots of questions about this right here, my vest. So I figured I'd address this in a quick video. So here we go. So this is the Eagle Industries uh, Combat Integrated Releasable Maritime Armor System. It's the law enforcement model. Uh, the difference between the non-law enforcement model and the law enforcement model is you've got Velcro in the front and the back in order to put patches. The, law, the military version just has a pl placard for the Velcro for your American flag. So um, everybody wants to know what I got. Here's what I've got on it. I've got two sets of handcuffs. I've got my everyday ASP ultralight um, model 250s. These are the light hinged asp cuffs and I've got a set of Smith & Wesson handcuffs. I always like to carry two handcuffs on my person so if I've get a, got a big guy or somebody with a shoulder problem I want to be able to address that without having to go back out to the car or making them extremely uncomfortable. Um, my new everyday flashlight is the Olight. Uh, I really love this flashlight because I've got one setting that I can momentarily turn it on and I've got another button where I can have it be strobe so I don't have to worry about two buttons like I did have to worry about with my Streamlight. So I absolutely love this Olight M20SX. This flashlight is my, is my new favorite flashlight. Moving around, I've got my Taser X2. Uh, it's a two cartridge Taser. Uh, it's the latest, greatest thing that Taser has. Uh, I carry that. I've got a Blade Tech holster that I carry it in um, that it connects to the Molly which uh, doesn't come with the new Taser X2s. I'm running the Axon body camera for, uh, for my body cam. So I'm running the Axon. The really thing I like about the Axon is I can take it off. It's got a quick detach system. So when we're doing our videos, um, I just detach it, hold it up and go, hey, here we are, we're at this place. And then it just goes right back on it and quick mounts onto here. I absolutely love that. Um, I'm running my uh, certified fugitive recovery badge, which is the badge that uh, is included in all of our certified 48 hour programs. This is the badge you get for that class. I'm running my Idaho thin line, thin blue line patch, uh, true spec PVC USA patch, the iFast patch, which is available at Bounty Hunter Boot Camp. Um, dot org. You can get these patches if you want one. They're eight bucks a piece. I'm allergic to penicillin. I'm O positive blood type. So moving around here, I carry a Gerber multi-tool. And you never know when you need a multi-tool. This thing's awesome. I've got a 15 round spare mag for my H&K VP9. Moving around, I've got a Streamlight uh, pen light uses a double A bat or triple A battery. It's just a little 60 lumen flashlight, uh, or I'm guessing on the lumens. I got it when I was in Glock Armor School. I carry a when you get tased in class. Sometimes you get T-shirts. Sometimes you get these aw awesome tactical pens. It's a pen, but it's also a window breaker, so you can pop windows with it, which is awesome because I also have that on my knife. Uh, moving around, I've got. A full tang Columbia River knife. It's a full tang is a solid piece of steel, uh, which is really good for popping locks, popping windows, and just you know having a straight blade of steel is is really nice. And these really aren't even that expensive. I think they're under twenty five dollars. Uh, I'm running my HT Motorola series radio. Um, we have different frequencies for Washington. We have different frequencies for Idaho, Montana. So these radios allow us to have that ability. I'm running my ASP baton that uh, you guys see me bust everything in, in videos with. And uh, I've got the extra grip on it, which is really nice. This is also doubles as a door knocker. So if I want to knock on a door, um, it's a real nice loud knock. Moving around, I've got my PIG gloves. Uh, these gloves allow me the dexterity to uh, operate my smartphone. Uh, I absolutely love these for everyday use. Just absolutely love these gloves. Um, I've got everybody on the team wearing these things now. Um, I, I'm running a tactical uh, four inch or three and a half inch handcuff key as well. 
I usually have a handcuff key here um, and another handcuff key up on my vest depending on what I need. Um, going back to the radio, the Motorola, um, I'm running an external microphone and then I like to run a stealth system. So I, I'm running an earpiece into my ear so nobody can hear our radio traffic. And then the last thing I have on here, um, I've, I've got these blue force pouches. So if I'm running shotgun or if I'm running AR, when I'm not running, it runs flat. It's like not having anything on there. And when I need it, I can put anything in here, including the cell phone. Um, sometimes I put my JPX pepper gun in here. It's, it's like a utility pouch, but it stays flat when you, when you don't have it, which is really nice. Um, back inside, inside the vest, I, I have a 3A soft armor. And the 3A soft armor comes all the way around the side here and comes all the way around the side here so I have coverage but a nice thing an additional nice thing I have with this vest is I have another piece of soft armor in here that is um, that is a 3a as well and so I've got an awesome coverage for my flanks for my sides um, as well as overlapping and then I've got that extra piece in there and this thing has just it's it's not it's not piecemeal it's one the the 3A soft armor in here is the exact same size as my vest, so there's no spaces, there's no gaps. So on the back with the maritime vest, I have the ability to uh, put large Velcro back here for our different unit patches that we're running. And also the maritime has a quick release system. Uh, designed for if you fall into the water or whatever uh, it has velcro right here that you pop off you have a handle you push press that handle or you pull that you pull that handle and the whole vest detaches um, I bypass that mode um, just because they're um, you know it's another thing for somebody to grab on when you're fighting and then your whole vest comes off so I've actually defeated that to where it's it is what it is and the other really cool the other really cool thing about this vest is it has a if you if you come into the inside in here it has come come around here you know what? it has this piece in here that allows a really snug fit and keeps the back of the vest to the front and it just keeps it it just keeps it really snug i've run and then we'll jump back out for a close. So I, I've I've run every kind of vest from Condor vests to Tactical Tailor vests and every vest in between. And these Eagle Industry uh, vests that the U.S. Marshals use and that the military use, uh, it's just my absolute favorite vest. I absolutely love this vest. Hopefully this is my last vest, which I'm sure it's not because I have other vests. I have light vests that I use for undercover work. I have a range vest for when I'm teaching. Uh, but this is my everyday, everyday use vest, and you know it, it, it looks big, but when when we break it down, there's only a handful of things on here. I carry a lot less stuff on my vest than I used to. So this is my everyday vest, this Eagle vest with uh, Stealth Industries ballistic. It's like I said, it's 3A. I think my total out of pocket on this whole entire setup here is about. 600 to 750 dollars and that's just for the carrier and for the ballistic protection that's not including the blade tech holster and everything else that's going on here but that's just the vest i think i think all together um, my vest is probably at about 2500 dollars fully outfitted uh it's it's hard to afford that in the beginning but it's something that you work up to and but you need some kind of basic protection Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you turn on your alerts. Make sure you thumbs up the video if you like it. And always check back to our page. We're posting videos every Monday. Thursdays, we're posting videos like this. We really appreciate everything that you guys do. And we'll see you guys soon.